We're going to talk about those New England Patriots who I have the third hardest schedule in the NFL. They're projected at seven and a half wins. And I've got them going five and 12 overall, four and five at home and one and seven on the road. When you look at this depth chart, when you look at the talent that's on this team, yes, they bring in Juju Smith-Schuster. Yes, they have a, a decent, you know, tight end tandem. Um, you know, yes, they do have some players on that defense. But again, with the third hardest schedule with kind of questions already with Mac Jones as your quarterback, is it going to be Bailey Zappi? We saw the quarterback mix up that was in New England last year. I've got them going five and 12 overall, four and five at home, one and seven on the road. They are going to split the entire the division. So three of their five total wins will be in the division. Excuse me. Got them going four and six heading into the week 11 bye. I'd like to see their bye week a little earlier. I think if they did have an earlier bye week, they could maybe recoup and reset to overall get into, um, you know, just a better position to push into the playoffs. But nonetheless, it's going to shake out for them that way. Nine games against playoff teams this year. I think they're going to go two and seven in those games. The only wins are going to be to the Bills and the Dolphins. Going to turn right around and lose to the Bills as well. The Dolphins, the Chargers, the Eagles, the Chiefs, the Cowboys, and the Giants. The first eight weeks also, you take a look at the schedule outside of Vegas, are very tough. And maybe even Vegas will be able to beat them. I have Bill out coaching McDaniels, his former teammate, in this game. His former, uh, you know, uh, gentleman on his coaching staff in his game. His former quarterback in this game. So that's going to be a W there for me. And you maybe have a little bit of a break in week nine and week 10 with Washington and Indianapolis. But then the final eight weeks are an absolute another gauntlet. And again, Bill Belichick's coaching, I think, will get him to these wins. Maybe it's more than five. I'd like to believe they win more than five. And, and I don't ever, you know, completely dig my brain in and wrap all the way around all of these schedule predictions because I just look at who they're playing, how I base, you know, how I feel about the team. And if I think it's going to be a win or a loss, we're going to have team by team predictions coming up for the year. Uh, but Bill Belichick's coaching will get him to these wins. Definitely. And while I believe he can out coach a lot of teams in the league, the talent in the offensive scheme really could just be too much for him. Again, the third hardest schedule being projected at seven and a half wins that reflects it all. The NFL didn't line it up well for them. Vegas, doesn't have a lot of belief in them. I'm going under on the New England Patriots here. So the AFC East will play out as the Bills and the Jets will both go 11-6. and six. Maybe the Bills are going to be the ones to win this division because they might have the better conference record. They will be undefeated at home, but the Jets won't be far behind going 8-1 and one at home. They will have the better road. They will have the better um, road record talking about the New York Jets, but we'll have to see how the conference games play out there. The Dolphins are going to be in third going nine and eight, and then the Patriots in fourth going five and 12. So you guys get in the comments. Let me know what you think about the AFC East 2023 record predictions. Did I get them right? Did I get them wrong? Too many wins, not enough wins, some variables that I might be missing. You know, I want to hear from you guys on the show and on the podcast.